Hey YouTube, Petey here. Um, this is my Steinberger. It's a Spirit GT Pro that I got. I bought myself this guitar because of my back injury. Uh, playing heavier guitars uh, makes it so I mean, if I do play the guitar for you know a couple hours, then I'll uh, I'm in trouble. It'll be like. I'm unable to walk and I suffer an incredible amount of back pain for about a week. So I switched to a lighter. This is a much lighter instrument and I got this it's a special strap. It's uh, it's a very uh, stretchy material. It's like uh, it stretches and it's kind of thick. It's a number one stretch strap by Levi's, Levi's, Levi's. And I've been using this with the Duo for about a year now. And I, I've come to, I've come to love it. I really like this instrument. Uh, it's got a very no-nonsense, kind of accurate feeling neck. It's kind of like an Ibanez. It's a thin neck, which I, I've got a RD350 uh, shark tooth, the white one, the HSH, like this, where you have two humbuckers and then a single coil in the middle. And I was never able to really adapt to that guitar. It's got a locking tremolo and a locking nut. This one uses double ball on strings, but this guitar has been like, a, I've been through a lot with monkeying with the strings and uh, the pickups. I replaced these two here with a place on the internet on on uh, eBay. A guy called Guitar Madness, Guitar Madness, and he sold me this set of pickups, which are his version of Seymour Duncan Super Distortion pickups. And I really like the sound of these especially compared to what was in there was these EMG selects that I had I had those in another guitar and I just thought that they were I mean for high gain I, if you turn them crank it crank up the distortion yeah they were they were all right but I even noticed a difference right away when I put these in with the high gain sounds that it just sounded better to me now the problem is this middle pickup the single coil is so unbelievably weak. I, I don't even switch the switch. I just leave it there. I leave it on the on the bridge all the time. So I had uh, I had intended to initially get take care of the uh, the humbuckers and then later on go back and put a single coil pickup in it. And that time came. Now I I sold something on. I sold a set of monitor speakers, um, Alesis Monitor 3, I forget what they were called. Anyway, I had the set of monitor speakers and I had upgraded and uh, I sold the, the Craig, on Craigslist for 20 bucks and took that money and bought, I ordered a, from Guitar Madness, Guitar Madness, it's a humbucker in the shape of a, it's a ripoff of a Seymour Duncan pickup, a JB. And it's a single coil sized humbucker that has 12 screws sticking out of it for the, you know, like the, uh, what do you call them? The poles. And that was supposed to come today. I logged into my eBay and he said, I had to cancel your order because, uh, the the Steinberger isn't routed for a normal single coil. It's routed just for because at the bottom of the single coil there's a little uh, tab with a PCB, the circuit board solders up the wiring, and that's another you know centimeter of of width. And on the Steinberger stock pickups, they they solder the connections directly on the bottom, and there's no room. So he just canceled the order, and he didn't return my my money back either. And that was on the 26th. Now it's um, the 2nd. 
So yeah, I I'm not real thrilled about that. Um, guitar madness, guitar madness. Got to make this right because I need a pickup for my. I I ordered these. I told you what guitar I was putting them in. You didn't say anything, and now I order. I I I specifically asked him. I said. I bought these pickups from you and I'm happy with them, but there's such an unbelievable volume drop when I switch now, because these ones that are placed there are so hot. So they measure out 15K and he said, well, I've got this 15K, so there'll be a volume drop, but it won't be that much. So then he emails me back and says, it's not quite going to fit. So I cancel. I'm so sorry I've got to do this, but I cancel your order. So it looks like what I'm going to be doing is removing the strings, pulling this pickup out of here, and then marking the new one if he sends it to me. Hopefully he will. Marking the new one out and then using uh, hand tools and a Dremel, Forstner bits, and my cordless drill to remove the wood that I need to remove to get the circuit to fit. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll modify the pickup. I don't know what I'll do yet. But I know if I really hack up the guitar, they've got a cover I could put, uh, a Telecaster-style cover for a single-coil pickup that I could put on there. It said on the, on the, um, the listing for this pickup, it said, attention this pickup doesn't fit in a normal single coil size it's a little bigger and you've got to route it out so i'm guessing that he realized all of that and that's why he canceled it and hopefully i'll be able to get this thing because it measures 15k and that's what i want i want to have all of my pickups on the guitar to be the same impedance and i'm not so much concerned with routing the guitar I am. I have enough faith in myself that I will be able to. I know I can remove the wood and get it to fit in there. It's. Is it going to look? All right, and that's where the cover comes into play, because if I put the cover on it, it's not necessarily going to matter. So if you've ever routed um, guitar body out for, I don't know, is this alder? Is it? Maple. Is it maple? I, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. And if you have a Steinberger Spirit and you've replaced the pickups, well, I don't know. This, this, this is one of those things where I'm at a point of unbelievable frustration. I'm really frustrated because he, the guy recommended this. I emailed him and said, hey, I bought these pickups and put them in my guitar and I can't change the thing now. And he said, oh, here's what I would recommend. This one or a, uh, a rail pickup that was 20. The other one was like 25. And I said, well, give me the more expensive one, the, uh, the one that looks, it looks cool. And then I logged in today because the pickup should have came and here he says, I'm so sorry I had to cancel your order and there's no refund. So that's guitar madness. Um, hopefully this is going to come back to have a happy ending. And uh, I don't have a router, but it's not that much wood that I've got to remove. I know I could do this with all the Dremel bits and weird stuff that I've got a whole kit box full of that stuff and even with ripping pieces of sandpaper and doing it by hand, I could clean it up and make it look nice. Yeah, it's, it's going to take some time, but I, I know I'm going to be able to do this. And as far as that yellow goes, I may end up just getting some yellow testers model paint and filling in whatever I do. So that's what I'm up against here. It's just frustrating. I mean, do I... Do I mess with it, you know, or do I leave it how it is? So, all right, you guys. DIY. 
You gotta love it. 